Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to everyone that comes to watch my channel I really do appreciate that and a big welcome to all the, you newbies that's been here for the first time uh, how I hope you enjoy my site please get involved chat with everyone else some great, brilliant people on this channel please get in touch with them and the, uh, the wonderful people you they will respond back with everything so you know i encourage everyone to get in touch with each other and have a chat <laughs> anyway today I'm, I'm not doing too many videos at the moment i'm still uh i mean i've been enjoying you know since my last channel got hijacked that it it was taken a lot out of me to be honest i mean my health was not doing too good i had the doctor screaming at me slow down and everything even the my assistant the wife that is uh so i'm i'm just getting into swing uh uh, uh, back in uh, the swing of it to build this channel up again and let's get going you know I, I won't give in like I said if I give in my last channel got hacked and I lost a lot over 250 videos if I give in uh, I, I don't really have much left in life uh, YouTube YouTube to be honest with my health and everything uh, YouTube is, is 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 what I live for uh, and my grandchildren uh, but I'm back in it again uh, you know it, it was just reminded me what life was like with YouTube <laughs> and to Tim Robinson thank you mate everyone Tim Robinson he's a good mate always is you should get in touch with him he's a great guy uh, excellent friend and he sent me through the post but I don't have them here uh, my assistant the wife that is Tim she's pinched them all she said they're theirs they're not mine <laughs> so she's took them but uh oh yes they're up there on the i can't get up at the moment on top of the fish tank there look at the mess of it it's uh the grandchild they're on there it's doctor who the very first doctor who that is uh you know that brought back some good memories that did the very first doctor who uh so what i've done is i put youtube on and i've and uh well, I didn't put my fire stick on as well. And I was been watching uh, some of the old Doctor Who series. God, I miss them. You know, it puts me back to my uh, kid days. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was I was uh, around before colour TV, so <laughs> I remember my first encounter with colour TV was back in 1968. It was wicked. Uh, yes, uh, we we were the first ones on our street to have colour TV. <laughs> it was rented from Ready Fusion. Everybody rented the TVs back in them days. And Ready Fusion, you got more channels, didn't you? Because back then we only had uh, BBC One and ITV. That's all we had. We, there was no such thing as BBC Two, Channel Four, Channel Five. There was no such thing as Sky, no satellite, nothing. <laughs> and we had Ready Fusion which was a, a type of cable which give you about two extra channels I think but uh, one of them we couldn't receive so we actually managed to get Yorkshire TV <laughs> God you can imagine what we had to put up when we were younger anyway uh, what it is uh, thanks for them Tim uh, you really are uh, nice of you it's really nice of you to send them I really do appreciate them and do you want to hear the good news Tim and everybody else for that matter I will be getting a 3D printer. Something I've been wanting for a long time. Tim got one and his mate. Uh, my brain's just died there. Give us a second to get it all back up with because what I was doing. Right. Uh, yeah. T uh, Tim, Tim and his, his friend, I uh, forgot his name at the moment. Uh, they, they got one. And he's been sending me, sending me some of these fantastic 3D, uh, 3D printed. Uh, uh, figures and stuff like that and even one of my shed I know I'm going to be changing uh, the traffic lights on this one uh, and put my shed there and uh, I will be getting one shortly uh, within the next couple of weeks uh, give us some tips Tim and everybody else that's got 3D printers please give us a tip which ones I should get what I should buy don't turn around and tell me to get one for 45,000 quid, say. <laughs> or 50,000 or 100,000. I can't afford anything like that. Let's try and keep it down into the 100 pound range. <laughs> I'll tell you what, give it, try and keep it down into the 20 quid range. <laughs> Only kidding. Anyway, it's uh, 
this day, today I present now I'm going to open a package where I ordered a couple of days ago. What I've been doing is uh, my grandson, he, when he stays here, he comes here on the weekends and he comes when he's finished school and stuff like that. He's uh, he's a little gaming buff, I think. And what he wanted, he wants uh, to game while he's here as well. I think basically his mum and dad are only allowed two hours on the computer, so he comes here and gets another two hours off us. <laughs> it's crafty. So I've had to build, I've been building him a computer, a gaming computer. So at present now, I've done him a nice uh, i5 CPU with a 10, uh, 1080 Ti video card uh, and 16 gig of uh, uh, SD, uh, DDR3 memory. Uh, and it's so far super fast. So the only thing I have to put now, put it in a nice flashing case, a uh, red case. I'll show you everyone that later on at a later stage. And at present now, I suspect this is the monitor. And the monitor, it's a refurbished one. It's not brand new. It's full HD and it costs 35 quid from eBay. Obviously, everyone knows what I like with eBay. I still buy a Phoebe. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. You couldn't read. I tried, I put it on last year's video, uh, on last year's orders, you know, purchases, what had, what had been purchased from eBay. And I'm not kidding you, it was relentless. I could not read through everything I'd bought last year. It was astounding. And I was thinking, God, must, there must be about 10,000 quids worth there. You know, and that's what I'm like. I'm sorry, but the, the, the missus is, the, is that to put up with me uh, doing all this with eBay because I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I am hooked on eBay. It's a bug. Uh, it really is. I know there's other people you're hooked on uh, Amazon and things like that. I know what you feel like. You know, I have sympathy. Anyway, uh, I'm just opening this. This is how they packaged it, which is, you know, really packed as well. Now, they said it comes with with uh, all the leads. And, yeah, wow. <laughs> it does come with a leads look, but what is that? I don't like that. That lead is not a. Uh, I wouldn't be using that yet lead anyway. I'd be using it. I, I think it's. I'm not sure if this is DVI or HDMI, which is DVI and HDMI, basically the same thing. But uh, I won't be using that one because uh, that one doesn't get used. Oh, and this is the power one, I think. Uh, is it? Oh no! Oh no! Hang on! Oh no! It's a different lead. Yes, it's. It, this is a, a VGA one. So I've got a VGA one, and I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the uh, the Ultra one, I think. And we have the power lead, obviously. I've got a ton of these power leads. And I have the stand here. This is a, a nice little round stand. Uh, one moment, I'll just lift this, this camera up a bit more. Uh, sorry about that, it got bent when I was doing it. So it's a nice round one, uh, a nice round stand. Uh, Quite good. Don't know what the ad is for. Let's have, oh, yes, it swivels. So, yeah, when it's on the top there, it can swivel. Yes. So, not bad up to now for 35 quid. And what it was, it's it's a class A. So, you know, people know, you know the banding like they do on uh, on new stuff. It's a class A, which is, it says, in near perfect condition. There may be a scratch on uh, the panel, but the screen, everything's supposed to be in perfect condition. So... I will take that off then without further ado. I'll show you what the I'm not gonna fire it up today. What I will do. Uh, I will be testing it all out and then I'll do a full uh review of the, the computer I've built and the the this this uh this this uh monitor and let you see because what's happening now is it's in my bedroom and my grandson sits in my bedroom playing on it and He's using my TV. So sometimes I need to lay down where I don't get into bed. I just lay down. I just need to lay down because my body's so tired. And, you know, I'm aching and I have to lay down. And I have to lay down at, at least two hours uh, to replenish my strength. That's what happens to me. Uh, it goes on every day, this. Uh, it isn't a set time either. It could be, you know, in the next 10 minutes, I could feel really tired and, and exhausted and have to, lay, have to lay down. So what I do is I lay down and I, I watch YouTube. But because my son's using my TV for the computer, I can't watch YouTube. So 
I, I can now. I, I like the sound of him. It doesn't affect him because he likes to wear the headphones. He's got uh, gaming headphones. Uh, the brilliant headphones, like. And he's got gaming headphones, which I bought. Uh, I'll, I'll do a review of them because they are good. Uh, and I, I only paid four quid for them. You know, really good. I paid four quid for them, and his dad liked them that much and bought them because his mum actually thought I'd paid uh, around 30 or 40 quid for them, uh, which I hadn't. It was just four quid, £3.99. You get them off eBay. Fantastic headphones, yeah. The, the sound and clarity of the sound is absolutely brilliant. So, right, I'm just going to lift this out. This one is 23 inch. Uh, and I didn't go for a 4K one. Uh, although off eBay, you can get the 4K ones for, I think the cheapest one I've seen was about 70 quid. But uh, this is, yeah, there's nothing 4K really on there. It is on YouTube, but I really on the, at my 4K TV there. I've got a full 4K HDR and all that lot. And I'm what it's just in HD, everything's in HD. What I'm watching, it's you know, that's all you get basically on uh, YouTube and things like that. All the stuff, all the places I go, so and even the games, games like all in HD, there's nothing 4, 4K really 4K on the on uh, the gaming scene. So I didn't bother with a 4K monitor. It, Loads of 4K games came out. One moment, I'll have to take this from behind and just look at all the bubble wrap. I love the bubble wrap. I keep the bubble wrap and all. Uh, it doesn't have come in handy. I've used bubble wrap for insulation <coughs> on the shed. I've used bubble wrap for everything. Uh, it's great stuff, this is. Uh, I will be lining my greenhouse floor out with it. I won't be, you know, in the past where I won't be walking. You know, at the back and all that, because it is clear and it'll come in handy for laying at the bottom of the greenhouse. Anyway, here it is. It is a view Sonic. Oh, one minute, I'll just click the uh, stand in place and uh, it's quite good. It can. You can, uh, I think it just clicks in place. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put it in anyway and see what it goes like. Uh, which is a case side. Yep, that's it. Uh, you put that in there. Like that. And it clicks in. Uh, whoa. <laughs> and there we are. And my tie yard. You can move it up or down, look. And swivel it. <laughs> and tilt it forwards and backwards. Uh, up here there's a bit of cellar tape where the cell tape was stuck on that corner up there and it says it's a VG2227 WM and it's a View Sonic uh, personally uh, I checked up on the View Sonic and it's an old Sony well it, it's not an old Sony it's Sony parts you know the View Sonic was licensed by Sony you get View Sonic where the license by Sony, Samsung, and there was another LG, I think, have licensed them to use their parts. But it is a good solid uh, 1080p. For, well, it's full HD. Uh, little buttons on the front there. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, monitor. And it's good all around. I love the stand. You just lift it like that and it comes up and down to where you want. Swivel it round and tilt it. And he's the rear of it and that's what it... I think... One more, I'll just tilt it there. And I think that's what it was referring to, some scratches here. There's a couple of scratches here and... Hold on now, that'll come off. I think that's glue. Uh, so there's a couple of scratches on this side, which... Well, it's nothing. Uh, as long as it works when it's all plugged in. Now, I suspect everything's plugged in up here. It, all the plugs plug in up here, out the road, which uh, I think is quite good. It can also be wall-mounted. Uh, you know, it looks quite easy there. I might suspend it from the ceiling, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's uh, a nice little uh, machine. Uh, like everything else, I think it was made in China. And, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly which... Well, it's, but, uh, it's not bad, uh, the condition. Uh, I'm just having a look underneath. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's, it's, oh, it is. 
Yeah, it's got two USBs. It's got Ethernet. What's it got the hidden up for? There's no computer in there. Looks like it, isn't it? It's got VGA and that, that one there. I forgot what it's called. That's a white lead. Uh, I think that's the DVI. Uh, I can just see one outlet here. Uh, I think that's for the uh, the sound. I wonder if it's got its own internal speakers. I don't know that. I don't know what this is down here, but I will be checking that out later on. But uh, yeah, there's a uh, thing. Is there any more on the side? I'll just check. Uh, no more. Do you. Oh, yes. Is it, there's something on the side there. I think that's where they're going to be. Like I said, I'm not going to fire it up yet. I'll show everybody the workings of it when it's connected on. But I, I can see a panel here. And I don't know how to open that panel. You click it or something, do you? Uh, you click it one side or something. Uh, I'll have to get the uh, thing we up on it. Well, that's a panel, but and I can feel it. It's, it, it does move a little bit. Let's check it round this way. Is there any panels on this side? No, just that one side. So, yeah, uh, I'll get it all set up later on and, uh, and see what it's like. But for 35 quid... Uh, it's a good little monitor and I love that bit there uh, look at that. I can just you just lift it it's just like you can lift it with one hand and you know raise it up where you want it you can tilt it forward uh, hang on or backwards there look. so that must be straight and then you can just swivel it right round uh, cool cool I really do think that is cool so there you are it's a view sonic now, when you order, when I ordered it from this company, uh, I don't have the advice yet, but I'll show you. I'll write it down. Uh, you don't get a choice. There's four different types, all the same size, and same condition apparently. And they said that you you get what's given basically: ViewSonic, Panasonic, Samsung, and something else. Uh, you don't get it, so you you just get what's coming through the post there, which I'm happy with. I don't care to monitor. And as long as it's full HD, uh, who's complaining? Anyway, on that note, a great big thank you, everyone. I will be posting more videos in the future. Uh, I've actually got to go and lay down. <laughs> this is... Uh, I've been waiting for this and it's a bit tiring. Anyway, so, like I said, a great big thank you to everyone. And especially Tim Robinson there. He's a good mate and dunk on the disc as fish or dunk on the drunken disc as fish or... <laughs> we go on for that anyway uh, a great big thank you to all the new newcomers uh, welcome to all the newcomers a thank you to all my uh, regular people that come I really do uh, appreciate everything that you've all done and uh, ooh, I've, I've got to nod off in a minute uh, anyway on that note uh, I love you all thank you bye